Hi and welcome back to another in this series of Zapier videos. My name's Andrew Mean and today I want to show you how to get a notification in Slack as soon as somebody books an appointment with you in Calendly. If that's of interest to you, keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to create our Zap in Zapier. So we'll give it a name. We'll add Calendly as the trigger. And we want to trigger this when an invite is created. So click Continue. Now we haven't signed into Calendly so far, so we're going to click on Sign into Calendly. And you'll see it's asking for an API key. So go to your Calendly account and go to Integrations. And then at the top of the screen, you'll see your key. So I'm going to copy that. Now keep that key private, don't share it with anyone. I'm going to regenerate the key before this video is posted. And then take that back to your Zapier page and paste in the key and click continue. Now click continue there. I'm going to do a test just to see if it's found any information and you can see that it's found some information. So that's good. It's connected. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is connect up Slack. So there we go. Slack. And what we want to do is we want to send a direct message. Click continue. And here we'll need to sign into Slack. Now I'm already signed into Slack. All it's going to do is ask me for authorization to proceed. It'll ask you what you can view, click allow, and there we are, I'm connected. And we we'll click continue. We want to send a message to myself. And there we are. Now we need to add some text. Type online meeting with, and then we'll add the invitee name and remain. We can add that it's a 60 minute meeting and contact details. Now you could add in their first name, last name, uh, any questions that had they been asked, any information that's on there. But we're not going to. All I'm going to add now is the event time. And we're going to pop that in. And we're going to take that from here. You could format it in any way but you particularly want it. And if you check here, you'll see it's event time pretty. Now that just puts it in a more readable format. Now you could use this one here, which puts it in a slightly different format, but not quite as readable. Send as a bot, we'll say yes, we'll send it as a bot. Choose the bot name. We'll just leave that as Zapier. And then we're just going to say, no, we don't want a link to the Zap. And we don't want to link usernames and channels in this case. Okay, so we'll click continue. And then we'll do a test. And now you can see already on my screen a new message from the Zapier bot online meeting with Andrew. So we'll go into Slack and we'll go to apps here and you can see online meeting with Andrew. So let's turn on this Zap and make sure that we can test it properly and that it's running automatically. So there you go, we've turned on the Zap. And now let's go to our Calendly bookings page and let's book a 30 minute meeting. And um, we'll choose the 31st of August and let's say it's gonna be at 10 o'clock. We'll click confirm. And name, again, we'll just use my details and then we'll click schedule event. And there, immediately, we've got a message from Zapier into Slack saying, online meeting with Andrew Mean. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, please click like 
and also click the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when the next video goes up. See you next time.